Hello, Betty Dukes, and welcome back to Red vs. Blue Season 3. So I think we're actually going to finish Season 3 in this React episode. I think there are about seven episodes left, so we might as well finish them all in this episode. In the last episode, the Reds and the Blues, minus Church, of course, because he's stuck in the past, um, delivered a bomb to wherever O'Malley is hiding currently. I think that's the Zanzibar map. I think that's where they are. Um, so yeah, they delivered the bomb over there and I think it's about to blow up and <laughs> they're all freaking out. But um, but meanwhile, Church went back in the past to stop Tex from dying, which meant that O'Malley jumps into Caboose's head. So he tried to stop that, failed miserably, and I think he's going to try again, but this time port back to Sidewinder instead and change things from there. It made me so mad that Church just ruined everything when he got transported back to Blood Gulch. Oh, it's so frustrating, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. We just need to have faith in him. <laughs> um, maybe somebody should say something. Okay, go ahead. Not me, jackass. I'm not going to eulogize myself. What? Why not? I eulogize myself all the time. Wait. I think I don't know what the word eulogize means. Wait, I know how to do this. Dearly beloved. Shut him up, seriously. We Shut him up. are gathered here today to witness the joy together of tax at church in the eternalness together. Uh, speak now or forever. Rest in peace. Liberty and justice for all. The end. Man, this funeral is lame. If you need me, I'll be over by my rock. Hey, Tucker, can I have a piggyback ride back to base? No, 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 no. I fell for that shit last time. I'm not doing that. That metal suit is like 8,000 pounds. Come on. One little piggyback ride's not gonna kill ya. I'm in mourning here. I've been through so much. At least help me paint my body blue. Okay. I may not have been able to save myself or Tex, but I still have time to save everybody else if I can just keep the AI from getting in the dock, prevent Lopez and Sheila from forming the robot army, and somehow figure out a way to stop the war between the Reds and the Blues altogether. Huh. What if I... Yeah, I'm gonna need some help on this one. Yeah, that sounds like effort. <laughs> oh, hey! Found it? Nah, no, wait. All I found was the time and temperature function. It is currently 26 degrees, by the way. What? It's not 26 degrees out here, that's freezing! Celsius. Where the hell is that contact info for Blue Command? Man, we really need to standardize the way we handle our information. No, dude, it's more like a... switch. Well, give it a flip. I don't want to flip it. Okay, here we go. Come in, Blue Command. Wait. You read me. I need to read this. Cabosis. <laughs> important list of stuff. Tucker is stupid. Sandwich, sandwiches, <laughs> command hotline, mommy, PS, what? I have no idea what that says. And seven dancing time. Oh my god, caboose. Hello, hello, come in. Do you read me? I read you. Hello, can you read me? What's going on? Your channel here. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Flowers. This is Captain Butch Flowers. Hey! Captain Flowers, how are you doing, dude? Hey, I heard you died. Or you got promoted. Wait a minute, which one was it? Um, promoted. All right, great, dude. How's that working out for you? Good. Listen up, Vic. I'm actually, uh, what do you call it? Um, intelligence now. Military intelligence, yeah. And I, uh, I, I need help on a very top secret project, uh, that's very secret. And very top. I'm all yours, dude. Be Vic dude as two Vic dude. Be Vic dude and all that. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to contact the Red Army and have them send Medical Officer Dufresne as far away from here as possible. Red Army? No, no, dude. Last transmission I received, that medic was at Blue Base. Got it right here in my log. No pun intended. Not sure what that means. Look, it doesn't matter where he is, I just need him out of here. They're both the same to me. Hello, dude. You're telling me that Red and Blue are the same now in Blood Gulch. Right, exactly. The sides don't matter. Huh? So Red and Blue are the same? Okay, dude. Well, this changes everything. What? Well, I mean, for starters, we're going to have to figure out how to divide up the money from the office pool. 
Okay, okay, yeah, whatever. Just remember, this is top secret, so you can't let anybody know that I gave you these instructions, okay? Or that we even spoke. Don't even tell them that we talked together. You got it? I will proceed accordingly, dude. Mum is the word. Actually, bird is the word, but bird says mum. So we're gonna go with that. Over now. Church, you didn't. Well, that should take care of at least one problem. No, you didn't. Oh, red and blue are the same. Well, I gotta make some phone calls. The hell are oh, you guys no. doing? Oh, crap. The reds are here. What? Caboose, why didn't you say anything? Oh, what the hell? Vic just had him bring Doc back over here? That guy's a freaking moron. Now I'm back to square one. Guys, I keep telling you, if we have Lopez remove any of Sheila's pedals, she's not gonna function properly. Maybe we could just get Lopez to give Caboose more feet. Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> I have always wanted to be taller. Hey there, Lopez. Sheila, you're both looking uh, very shiny today. Uh, rust free. <laughs> and anyway, um, the reason I'm up here to talk to you guys is I know we've had our differences in the past. You know, with the the nut turning and the um, possessing and stuff like that. I, but I'm hoping we can put that behind us because I want to talk to you about maybe some crazy ideas you might be having up here. Like I don't know, say uh, starting your own robot army. And you know, it's it's something you should think about pretty seriously if you're thinking about doing it. Um, because it's hard to run an army, and you might not be aware of that. It's uh it's a lot of logistics, uh, a lot of rhetoric. Um, you know, it's uh you gotta have chain of command and that stuff. You know. It's, uh, when you have ranks, it's, it puts friends against each other. That's not always a good thing, because it might might seem like it's easy with only three people, even when those people are just robots. I don't mean I don't mean just robots. I mean three. You have you you have three you have three people that are mechanized people, mechanized Americans. Um, and then you know it's a uh, it's a uh, anyway. You shouldn't do it. Bye. No can feel on ese mamon. Say para say muy sospechoso. Me neither. But I have to admit, I liked his robot army idea. Yo también. Debemos hacer eso. Podría construir un máquina que vuela para un hombre con los lazadores del cohete de las piezas adicionales. Great idea. Let's hide it in the cave so they won't find it. Simon. Well, that felt good. I think we really connected. Now... What am I going to do about those teleporters? It's because that's the day I wash my underwear. And since I don't like to let my armor touch my bare skin, on the account of I chafe really easily, I remember thinking, where can I hang out with no pants on? Oh, God. Jesus, what's that guy babbling about down there? I thought Tucker was annoying. Okay. That's so frustrating. One more adjustment to make on this teleporter, and then we're done. Oh, hey, look. Look at Sheila Lopez. Look at the... Sure are coming fast. Hey, they don't even seem to be stopping. Uh oh. Curses! Is... <laughs> no! Oh, so that's how it malfunctioned. Uh, what the hell happened? Where am I? When am I? Uh, church, it kind of looks more like a triangle from down here. What? I'm just saying it doesn't look much like a circle. It looks more like we're forming a triangle. Just a side note. Okay, fine. Triangle of confusion, rhombus of terror, parabola of mystery. Who cares? Get the goddamn show on the right, road. All right, sorry. Oh no, the parabola of mystery. <laughs> that means any second now Tucker's gonna get shot by O'Malley, and then all hell's gonna break loose. Unless Simmons, Griff, we're out of luck. Get ready to open fire. Today is a good day to die. Wait, I think today is actually a good day to retreat. Can't we push dying to a week from Friday? Yeah, let's all take dying as an open action item and come back with suggestions next meeting. No, it has to be today. For our ancestors. Yeah! Wait, everyone! Stop fighting! It's all a lie! Red is blue! Who's red? All the same! Man, I can't believe the reds have this kind of hardware laying around and they're not even using it. Ah, there he is. Mine now, buddy. Church, why? <laughs> why?
<laughs> Why would you do such a thing? See, that's one thing that always confused me is when, you know, movies or TV shows do this thing where events happen and then there's some kind of, you know, going back in time mechanic added to the thing and then because they went back in time and trying to change things, that it ended up how it did originally anyway. So it loops, you know, if that makes sense. So I never understood how, like how, I know it doesn't make sense. I'm not too sure if it is meant to make sense. It, it, it's just the way it is, you know, specifically for plot reasons and things like that. But it just, it always confused me. Just, yeah, that whole things happen, you go back in time to change it, and we then discover that those things happened because you went back in time to change it, which meant that those things that happened still happened. <laughs> it's a little confusing, but yeah. I guess it's just for plot reasons. There is no, I suppose, true logic behind it. It's, it's just for plot. Unless someone knows a better way to describe why, why that happens or why that's so, you know, confusing the whole going back thing and it just loops. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just, it, it just always confused me. You know, that there, there is, it just didn't seem like there was any logic behind as to why that happened. You know, it shouldn't loop like that if that's the case. If those things happened because someone went back in time to change it, then you're going to keep going back in time to change those things that are still going to be the way they are. So how did they happen in the first place, you know, if you already went back in time to change them? Yeah. <laughs> I better stop talking now before I confuse myself and everyone else who is watching this video. <laughs> Trip. Thanks, Sheila. That was really nice of you. Not really. All my bag had was an air filter and a thermos full of brake fluid. <laughs> Make sure to wash your exhaust pipes every day. Bye, Sheila. We'll come back for you soon. So cute. I'll be waiting. Church, I thought you left with Griff. Back already? I hate to tell you this, Sheila, but none of us are coming back. Is there any way I can take you with me? Maybe transfer your programming to a disc or something like that? No, sorry, but I'm hardwired into this equipment. That's what happens when you're built by the lowest bidder. Yeah, tell me about it. There's just one more thing you can do for me before I say goodbye. It's the last thing that I can do to hopefully set all this stuff right. What is it? Okay, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get out of here, and I need you to wait on the food looking wet. And all right. Years, like that. You got sure. it. Thanks, Sheila. And, uh, sorry that I blamed you for killing me all this time. That's okay. I'm sorry I enjoyed blowing you up so much. Yeah, I don't think it was necessary to tell me that. Anyway, I guess it's goodbye, Sheila. Maybe I should shut down now and save a little power. Oh. Oh no, that's so sad. Oh, it's so empty and this is where we started the show. No. <laughs> Oh, for Sheila. Ah, oh, yes, dear Tex. After I take care of your little friend Tucker, I'll be taking care of her as well. When I get out of here. But you won't. Everyone here is dead now. No one even knows where you are. So I suppose now you'll just have to starve to death. <laughs> Cheerio. Oh, man, there is no way that Griff can disarm that bomb. I better let him out of there and then go find Tex. She can shut it off. You should try showering in cell block C. Those guys are animals. All right, here it goes. You open the doors? That wasn't scary at all. What? The? I didn't do that. Somebody on the outside must have done it. All right, let's go. Freedom! It smells so sweet! Let's go rob a liquor store on the way home. All right, now to find Tex. Sorry about this, Allison. Just following Omega's orders. Wyoming, I need you to get in position. Don't forget that Vic fellow is giving us a bonus if we kill Tucker. Would really help fuel the whole conspiracy. Conspiracy theories made up. Right oh, mate. As the one person here who really does work for Red and Blue, I think what we're doing is despicable. O'Malley, can't you look in your heart and see that maybe if we do this right, that Red and Blue could work together? Maybe we could end this crazy war. Wouldn't that be great? Come on, guys, let's live the dream. I like the way war seems now, when one side is completely dead, and the other side wasting away in nuclear winter. Brown's nuclear. Oh, shut up. Crying at the folly of their own hubris. War is also in entreaties. Ah, oh, shut up already. Come in, Tex. 
I need you to meet me in the middle of the canyon right now. This is church. Uh, I have money. Oh man, where is she? Hey, hey buddy, hey! What? Who are you? Huh? Oh, I'm you. I'm just a different version of you. Yeah, see, I keep trying to fix the bomb, just like you're doing, except I don't do it right and I get blasted back in time. Then I come back and try to fix everything all over again. I just want to let you know, when you get back, meet us at the top of the ramp. Us? Who's us? Back from where? What's going on? Man, this blows. You guys suck. What the hell? Sorry, Private Tucker, but I always get my mind. Say goodbye, mate. Uh, guys, I hate to interrupt, but zero seconds. Uh-oh. What? Oh, son of a... Computer, you gotta send me back. To blood gulch. You just left. No, 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 not the blood gulch, the sidewinder. Man, I totally screwed everything up. Hello? Well, I didn't keep the bomb from going off, so I just got blasted back here. Yeah, me too. What the? Let me just put it this way, pal. Your next plan goes about as well as the first one does. Uh -oh. oh boy. Yeah, you ever want to I don't different versions of chat. What the hell is all of this? You're God in heaven. No, here he is. Late again. Who are you guys? We're you, dumbass. We just keep screwing up and getting flown back to the computer terminal. Then we teleport here to try again. I know that, man. You told me last time. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the new you. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I'm still getting used to all this. Dumbass. Hey, shut up. How did all you guys screw up? Well, when Tucker points the rocket launcher at us, I tried to explain the situation to everybody. And oddly, Caboose is really the only person that understood it right away. Anyway, by the time I finished answering questions, the bomb went off and I got sent back in time. Right. Then I teleported back to Sidewinder and thought if I can shoot Wyoming before he shoots Tucker, then I can fix everything. But I shot Wyoming, then Tucker shot me with the rocket launcher, the bomb went off anyway, and I got sent back in time. And then I teleported back and just decided to kill everybody that I could see. Why did you do that? I don't know. Seemed like fun. <laughs> I think I went a little nuts there for a while. Well, what did you do? Dude, don't ask. <laughs> Trust me. It it didn't work. So now we all come back here beforehand to discuss what we did and see if we can collectively figure out a better plan beforehand. You said beforehand twice. Oh. Well, in that case, what I was thinking about doing... That, that won't work. work. Hey, I got it. Who's the last church? Huh? Which one of you is the latest version of me? Um, I guess that would be me. Uh, I've already tried all the stuff that all these other guys have done. Even him. So, I guess that makes me the latest version. Well, that must mean you're the one that gets it right, then. What do you mean? Well, if you're the last church, you must be the one that fixes everything. Otherwise, there'd be a thousand other churches here still trying to get it right. I see. Wait, why am I explaining this to you? If you're the latest church, then you've been me explaining this to you already. Uh, yeah, I know. I just didn't want to steal my own thunder. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Thanks! Thanks! Thanks. Okay, well, I'm gonna go do whatever it is that fixes all this. Wish me luck, guys. What are you gonna do? You know what? I'm just gonna go free Tex and wing it. Because every time I've made a plan, it's fallen apart. I figure, why not just improvise? So what did you do? Oh, man. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. Church! O'Malley and Wyoming tied me up. Get me out of here! You got it. Wait a second. Would this be a good thing or a bad thing? How is setting me free a bad thing? I'm not sure. If I set you free, will you promise not to get close to me? I'm already close to you. No, no, not me, me. The other me, me. The one with the bomb. What? Oh, right. I forgot. I already set text free one of the other times. Oh, sweet. Then that means I'm the guy that interrupts me and then confuses Tex. I'm totally confused. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Tex. I'm just supposed to tell him that it's okay to set text free. It is? Well, that's what I said to me when I was you, and it seemed to work out okay. Seriously? This is really confusing. Okay, you're free, Tex. Now to execute the second part of my plan. I'm gonna possess Lopez, and then use his lightning machine to defuse the bomb. See ya! Good luck! Yeah, that's totally not gonna work. Tex, I recommend you get down there and try to defuse the bomb that's in Church's stomach. I think you're about the only one here that can do it. And Tex? The one thing I didn't realize before was this. Maybe I'm the last church, not because I fixed everything, but because I died and there's no way I can come back. If that happens, I just want to let you know that I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry I got you mixed up in all this stupid stuff. I'm sorry I wasn't a better guy than I should have been. I'm sorry for... Well, for a lot of stuff. But, if we do survive this, then it's totally because of me, and you should build a fucking statue in my honor. I'm serious! Something cool! Like me on a horse! No, 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 wait! A motorcycle! What the hell? Sorry, Private Talker, but I always get my man. Say goodbye, mate. Uh, guys, I hate to interrupt, but... Zero seconds. Uh-oh. Church! Oh, what can I tell you, know. dipshit? For better or for worse, I'm back. The computer can talk? The computer's name is Gary? How have you been, Search? Good, thanks for asking. Listen, would you do me a favor? Could you shut off the bomb, please? No problem. Gary, you mean to tell me you could have turned off the bomb this whole time, and you didn't say so? And don't say I didn't... You didn't test. Sorry, my camera just finished recording that, that's why it turned off. The whole like time travel thing, I don't know, I, I need to maybe read another synopsis again as to how all that worked, but I'm still a little confused on it because, you know, like he goes back and changes some things and because it didn't work that other versions of church were created because they tried to do different things and yeah, it, it, all, it, it all gets just a little bit confusing. So yeah, I'll probably just read a synopsis somewhere that, that can explain to me in a very simple way so that I can properly understand. Cause it does kind of make sense when I watch it, but then when I think back to it, I'm like, wait, how does that work? How how did this make sense? How is this possible if this happened because of this? I'll uh, I'll just read something and hopefully it'll uh, all make sense to me. You got this thing where? Right up there. So, you went back in time and didn't change anything. Uh, yeah. I was just like a passive observer. I would have tried to save your life. For me! Yeah, I didn't think of that. Hey, Tucker, I don't think it's a good idea that you're keeping that thing. You're just pissed because you don't have one. No, you must have me confused with Tex. She's been staring at you non-stop since you found that thing. <laughs> That's not true. You haven't taken your eyes off it. Yes, I have. Then why haven't you looked at me the entire time I've been talking? I'm looking at you right now. No, you're not! I've already seen you. Not too impressed. I would have tried to save Tex, too. Well, I didn't, Caboose. I didn't try to save me, I didn't try to save Tex, and I sure as hell didn't make millions of copies of myself trying to keep the bomb from going off. Oh. Because that was my next suggestion. Leave me alone, Caboose. I didn't want to mess with the timeline. Time... line? Time isn't made out of lines. It is made out of circles. That is why clocks are round. Man, that thing is really shiny. Yep. Tucker, man, I still think... The computer told me that thing is a very important relic for some ancient culture. I wouldn't go swinging it around like that. Yeah? Well, I think it's just a kick-ass piece of bling. And who are you gonna believe? Me? Or some super smart, stupid talking computer? Yeah. Thanks for meeting on short notice, so covertly. No problem. I had to move my lunch with the Pope, but uh, he was cool with it. He owes me. I helped him pick the hat. Shut up. I don't want the Blues finding out about this meeting. So 
so I want us all to agree here and now we're going to keep this between ourselves. Sir, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're not exactly buddy-buddy with those guys anyway. Eh, I'm not really in the market for new friends. I'm not sure that I'm happy with the current crop. No offense, Sarge. Griff, tell us what you discovered on the radio. Me? Um, actually, I'm the one who heard the distress signal. Uh-huh. Well, see, I thought... Yeah, I can't use the radio. Yeah, I discovered the distress signal. That was me. I don't know how I got that mixed up. It's okay, sir. As long as everyone's clear, who heard it first? Sorry about that, Simmons. Why do you care? Oh, really, sir. It's no problem. I think it's important to get proper credit when some of us are working hard discovering distress signals on the Warthog's radio, while others are hanging out in the back seat, monkeying about. Okay, first off, monkeying about? And secondly, I don't think listening to the radio classifies as working. And thirdly, monkeying about? Come on, dude. It's a real phrase. Bullshit! That's what you said about horse doodling. People say it all the time. What people? Oh, lots of people, all the time. But nobody you would know. No need to get upset, fellas. I think we're all clear now. Simmons is the one who heard the distress signal, and Grip was the one monkeying around. About. Say who now? Monkeying about. Yeah, people say it all the time, sir. You'll want to get it right. Otherwise, you'll sound like a jackass. Can we please get back to the purpose of this meeting? Yeah, what is the purpose exactly? I wanted Simmons to tell us that he heard a distress signal on the radio. Okay, go ahead, Simmons. Um, I heard a distress signal while listening to the radio. I know. I was in the car with you when you heard it. In fact, why are we even having this meeting? Everyone here already knows you heard the distress signal on the radio. I just want to make sure everyone is on the same page. Same page? There's only one page. You know what the page says? Simmons heard a goddamn distress call on the radio. The end. Oh, look. Down there at the bottom, it also says, P.S. Griff was monkeying about. Well, I can see why we don't have lots of meetings. The only person who doesn't know is Donut, and he's not even here. That's because I asked Donut to distract the Blues so we could have this secret meeting. And that's the story of how I saved Christmas. I did not even know the North Pole was in San Francisco. This changes everything. Yeah, and I don't think Santa's suit is a leather biker's outfit. Hey, wait a second. Why are we letting this pink guy distract us? I'm not distracting you. Yeah, you are. While we're sitting here jabbering, the Reds are over there monkeying about. Yes! down there, messing with the radio. Oh, so that's what they're doing. Yeah. They must be plotting something. Or maybe they're just listening to the radio. I know plotting when I see it. That's plotting. Maybe they're scheming. No, scheming looks different. That's definitely plotting. They're gonna try something. <laughs> Why? I already told them red and blue are the same. It's all a conspiracy. And I told you that's not true. Vic just made it up to confuse us. That just means he's part of the conspiracy. But he's the one that told you red and blue are the same. Exactly. Wait, are, are you talking about a conspiracy that red and blue are the same? Or a conspiracy that red and blue are different? Exactly. You just keep saying exactly. Do you have a theory or don't you? Look, I don't care about red or blue. All I know is that those guys are up to something down there. Maybe they're planning to use the radio to beam secret messages to the fillings in my teeth. Secret messages about what? Exactly. They are probably trying to tune into the distress signal they heard on the radio. What makes you say that? Oh, I know all the details. They were in their car, the boss hog, when Simmon heard a distress signal on the radio, and Gruff was in the back seat. Gruff. With a monkey. Hmm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that some of that is wrong. How do you know all this, Caboose? Andy told me. Andy? Who's Andy? Are you, are you Andy? I'm not Andy, I'm Tucker. No, I, I know. What's your first name? Lavernius. Lavernius? Well then who's this Andy? Wait a second. Are you black? Me? Yeah. Does it matter? No. I'm just curious. Well, if it doesn't matter, then why are you curious? I don't know. I guess that's just something I should have picked up on after all this time. You know what else you should have picked up on? My fucking first name! <laughs> Lavernius? Oh my god. That's all it says. It doesn't even say where or who. We know who it is. It's on the Red Army Open Channel. That means the Reds have survived into the future. Don't you see what this means? <sighs> that we have absolutely no hope of ever getting out of this army. No, it means we must have beaten the Blues. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any Reds left. Finally, victory is ours! Wait a minute, this means I missed the entire war. Oh, damn it! Yeah, everything must be great. That's why they sent out a distress signal. Maybe it's not a distress signal. Maybe it's a distress signal. 
Maybe it's an open invitation to some formal ball! Okay, let's go with Sarge's version. Sounds. Have you tracked the source? Well, sir, all I can tell is the direction. I have no idea how far it is. Why not? I thought you were our unofficial science officer. That just means I'm smart. If you want me to multiply two big numbers in my head, that I can do. But I can't measure radio signals with no equipment. What's 32 times 56? 31,452. Is that right? Yes. That's pretty impressive. Eh, you know, it's a gift. This is Andy. Andy, this is Tex and Tucker. Uh, the black one is Tex. And the other black one is Tucker. Andy's the bomb? Uh, Andy prefers the term explosive American. Are you making fun of me? He told me all about what the Reds are up to. Didn't you, Andy? Yes. Uh, and then we talked about all our adventures. Did you know that he used to know Sheeta? Isn't that right, Andy? Um, Caboose, are you hearing the bomb talk right now? Say something, Andy. You are embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> Caboose, I think you're losing it. Also, I wouldn't really call us friends. We're more like acquaintances or people who work with other people they hate. Gary? I need you to tell me some more about the alien race that needs Tucker's sword. I do not know anything about them. You don't know anything about the aliens that programmed you? Correct. Instead, they filled all my memory banks with information about the great destroyer and his race. You mean humans? That is not what they call you, but correct. Why? What do they call us? <laughs> Shiznos. Shizno. <laughs> That's an insult, isn't it? Perhaps this can best be explained in the form of a knock-knock joke. <sighs> knock-knock. Who's there? You are. You are who? You are a dirty, dirty Shisno. Ha ha ha. Alright, what does it mean? What is the most foul smelling animal on your planet? Um, a skunk. Wait, so Shisno means skunk? Not exactly. Does a skunk defecate? Yes. And does the skunk's defecation in turn produce its own excrement? Ew, no! Then there is no equivalent for Shisno in your language. Gross. Like you would not believe. Hey, does that bomb ever talk to you? The bomb? No, never. Yeah, I didn't think so. Andy and I are not on speaking terms right now. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Andy? Correct. He is kind of a jerk. I'm not the jerk, you're the jerk. Jerk. That was very rude. Ah, shut up, you shizno. The bomb talks. Andy talks. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I do remember that, but it's just funny hearing it again. <laughs> tell us that this bomb can talk. I'm not telling you that. He's telling you that. Yeah, and I'm standing right here. You can talk to me. If you could talk this whole time, then why didn't you just... Wait, why am I talking to a bomb? I'm not doing this. What, am I not good enough to talk to? Who do you think you are? Some kind of too good to talk to a bomb type? Maybe it's a good idea not to piss off the explosive device. I agree. I wasn't talking about you, Tex. Hey, why did you suck my- <laughs> Did Gary say anything about the bomb being able to talk? Uh, just that this whole place is going to be destroyed by us, and that Andy here is probably the thing that does it? Oh, that's not good. I don't think so. A bunch of shit knows if you ask me. <laughs> and no one did ask me, which I find insulting. All right, all right, calm down, Andy, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, I am calm! Caboose, calm this thing down before it has a meltdown. <laughs> Andy, everyone here is your friend. And no one wants to hurt you. Yeah, right. Come on, Andy. Think of a happy place. Now, what makes you happy? Being in the middle of a huge explosion. Less happy place, Caboose. <laughs> Less happy place. Uh, think calming thoughts. Uh, let's count backwards from ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. No! Oh. Okay. I'm 95% certain that the distress signal is coming from that way. Excellent work, Simmons. All right, men. And Griff, let's get ready to roll. Only 95% certain. Griff, if there's one thing that I've learned in working with you, is that there's always margin for error. Excellent comeback, Simmons. That's a burn. Thank you, sir. Har har. Look who's so smart. It's pronounced margarine, dumbass. Seriously, if I ever meet the guy that assigned you to our squad, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> well, if you're 95% certain it's that way, which way's the other 5%? What do you think? All the other directions. Then I think that's the way we should go. You might be the dumbest person I have ever met. And I think you're just covering your ass. Hey, Sarge! What? I'm not covering my ass. You're the one trying to cover yours. No way. Stop arguing, you two. <laughs> Simmons isn't covering his ass, and Griff certainly isn't covering his. No one's ass is being covered. Got it? Donut, what do you want? Uh, is that a trick question? No, good. Well, I was up on the windmill again, and 
and I think I found a route we can take out of here. Great. Simmons, load up. Donut, you back up, Simmons. Yes, sir. Okie dokie. Griff, you get no. the ice blues no, don't. You're, leave. <laughs> you're sending Griff? Okay. Be right back. Griff? Don't you remember the last time you sent him to distract command during our surprise inspection? He told him we were all in the base doing last minute cleaning because we all had cholera and we were in quarantine for a month. My ass still hurts from all the shots we got. Yeah, you can say that again. Mine hurts too. You weren't even there, Donut. Oh, I thought we were just sharing stuff. Oh, Wait a second. Donut, you no. guys better not just be sending me so you can run off once I'm inside. Of course not, moron. Now hurry up. Okay, everybody in the jeep. <laughs> you are in a cool river where no one disturbs you or calls you names. Like Bobby. Or the exploding jerk. There are sheep nearby. They kind of don't blow up. You are happy. But not overly happy. Regular happy. Breathe in through your nose. And out through the mouth. Again. Breathe in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Uh, maybe I get some candles. Would you like some candles or some incense? How about that? Hey, Andy. Knock, knock. Who's there? Inner peace and serenity. I already heard that one. And when we get there, we'll radio command and say we need a replacement. Because we have absolutely no idea what happened to- Oh, Griff! What are you doing back so soon? That was the shortest distraction of all time. What's wrong? What were the blues doing? You know, I can honestly say I have no idea what I just saw. Can I quit the army now? Seriously, I think I've seen everything I need to see at this point. If only I could make that happen, dirtbag. I mean it. Just tell me where to turn on my gun. I'm done. Venga mi ejército robotico. Ahora es la día de nuestra victoria glorioso. <laughs> Careful, you fools. I need a device intact. <laughs> now kill all those fools. And those fools over there. And those fools. Leave no fool left unkilled. This army has a no-fool discrimination clause. <laughs> I like that we have a no-fool discrimination clause. It makes us progressive. Shut up, you fool. I need, like, merch that has, like, shut up, you fool, or you fool <laughs> on the front. Because I love, I love the way O'Malley says that. I think it's so funny. <laughs> also, you're telling me that there's an entire robot army and Lopez still doesn't have a body yet? <laughs> He's still just a head? You'd think they would have made one for him by now, but okay. Okay, so let me get this straight. They were talking to the bomb. Dude, I don't know. They mentioned something about candles in a bubble bath, and they were playing some kind of a new age CD. It's like a Yanni fan club meeting. That makes no sense at all. Did you want to translate for us, Pinky Pants? My guess is that they're trying to get the bomb to do something for them. And all that sweet talking candles will work on a bomb. It would work on me. Don't you see what they're trying to do? No. Isn't that the point of this conversation? Blues are obviously trying to coax the bomb into rearming. They're about to launch an attack on us. Why would they do that? Because they're blues. Somebody get this kid the manual. Oh, I hate the blues. That's the spirit, Simmons. <laughs> they're in the same building. <laughs> and now the hour is at hand. It'll blow up. It is time, my robot minion. He means robot minions. Where's your cultural sensitivity? <laughs> oh, shut up. At last, we will seize our destiny. Do we really have to seize Destiny? Can't we just invite it to join our online circle of friends? Quiet, you fool! And quit sending me those invites. They're repulsive. Prepare for battle! We will break upon the fortress like an evil wind! Oh. Crushing our opponents with lightning speed! Attack! Charge! Oh my god, that's so slow. You there! Hurry along! And you in the back! Esta es la velocidad máxima. This is what I asked for. This is this que quieres esta día de victoria. A esta velocidad va a pasar 24 oh horas God. para ganar. <sighs> Charge. So we cool here? I think we're finally calmed down. Yes. We are all better now. We are not mad. And we are definitely not thinking about exploding at all anymore. Hey, are you talking about me? What? No, of course not. We just 
want to make sure that we're all happy and that we're not upset in any way whatsoever. Don't say we. You really mean me. I mean you, which in this case is me. No, no, no. Uh, we're, uh, we're talking about Tex. Excuse me? Hey, you want to die in an explosion? Play along. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but she's, uh, she's kind of a bitch. Isn't that right, Tex? Church. I don't know. Come on, Tex. Yes, we're talking about me. Sounds like you're patronizing me. No, really. It's me. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Keep going. And I need to be calmed down all the time. Or what happens? Or else I get so mad, I kill people on my own team. I see your point. Tell them about the moodiness and the crankiness. Also mention that you like to punch people in the head while they sleep. That was you? I thought the dust fairy was mad at me. <laughs> wow. She sounds like a real hand. All right, listen, you little new firecracker. Whoa, 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 whoa. See what we mean, Andy? Volatile. I am so going to remember this, Church. You should sleep with your pillow on top of your head tonight. Yes, that's very funny. Make all the threats you want. As long as everyone is calm and peaceful and there's nothing else to make us excited, I don't care. <laughs> Attack my robot almost feel that coming right as I finish the sentence. What the hell was that? It sounded like a huge explosion! Sham, dearly lace! That means the blues have rearmed the bomb! Wait, they rearmed it and it exploded. Isn't that good for us? Griff, don't interrupt me when I'm leading in a battle situation! We're in battle? Of course we are! Now get ready for your orders! Donut! Yes, sir! Scream like a woman! Can do! God, Donna, oh my god. <laughs> I wonder how this is gonna turn out, because this is the last episode that we're about to watch now, and again, I forget so much shit from this show, so, you know, I'm, I'm probably just as surprised as you guys are who haven't seen the show before and don't remember anything. <laughs> It really is going to take a day. Oh, for God's sake! Will you hurry up? Lopez! I'm disappointed in your work. These minions are much too slow. Creo que están moviendo muy bien. You fool! You don't even have legs, and you still got up here faster than them! Usted es los cerebros en esta operación. Yo no más soy el músculo. They may be slow, but their posture is excellent. <sighs> a for effort, Lopez! I think they're distracted. Let's use this chance to slip away. Great idea, sir. I have a lock on that distress signal. We can head right for it. Good thinking, Simmons. Everybody in the Jeep. Shotgun. Shotgun. Fuck. Shotgun slap. Fuck. There's just no room for four people. Someone will have to jog alongside. What does that mean? Griff? Jog? What's that? It's like running slowly. Dear God, you don't know what jogging means? Yeah, you lost me at running. Sorry, it's not my contract. Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. Just give me one second while I put my jogging shorts on. Wait. I want to reconsider. <laughs> Who wants to hold my ankles while I stretch out my hammies? No one's fallen for that twice, Donut. Alright, I think I can take him. I just need a better weapon. Want me to help you find one? Mm. Why don't you just give me your sword? No, wait. I can see right through your little ploy. You just want me to give you the sword. That's what I just said. Yeah, but it's the way you said it. You know, it's a good thing that that sword doesn't run on brain power. Oh my god, Tucker! Look! Hot chicks! Nice try. You just want me to turn around so you can knock me out and take the sword. Now the hot girls are making out. Okay, that's worth the risk. 
Oh, crap. Just stay calm, Andy. Everything will be fine. I'm okay. Really. I like explosions. You, on the other hand, look a little nervous. You know, I always get a little nervous during battles. I think it's because we never win. Yeah, don't sweat it. If they get in the base, I'll just explode and kill everybody. Wouldn't that kill us too, Andy? Hey. You can't make an omelet without blowing up a few eggs. I like eggs. Me too. <laughs> Gary, is it possible that the Great Destroyer could be an entire army of people? No. The Great Destroyer is a single person who will come to claim the Great Weapon. Yeah, that's great. Prepare. One and all. The fulfillment of the Great Prophecy is at hand. So you have no good news for me today. Weren't you glad I didn't say the man up? <laughs> Let's go, man! One of them's following us! We're going too slow! We have to leave someone behind! Not it! Not it! What? No way! You're leaving me behind? Sorry, no not, but military law is very clear in regards to the not it methodology for making decisions. Oh man! There's still so much about the army I don't understand! Here he comes! No not, you hide here and wait for the guy tailing us. Then when he passes, shoot him square in the back and watch him die. Just like John Wayne would have done. Hurry up, guys. He's getting closer. No, wait. No, he... Yeah, he is getting closer. Just shoot no. him. Yes! All this retreating and shooting people in the back doesn't sound very noble. We're not retreating. We're advancing towards future victory. How am I going to find you guys? Just follow the distress signal to its source. You'll find us there. But I don't have a way to track it. Excellent point, Donut. Thank you, sir. Oh. Poor Donut. <sighs> oh, God. Well, I've got some time. Attack. 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 <laughs> That's true. Oh, man. It's that creepy dude. I wonder why he's insulting himself. Que curioso. <laughs> oh, the motorcycle. Y mi cola es muy grande. Y me gusta frotar mi cola. Y quiero oler mi cola y también besar a mi cola. Are you sure cola means evil? Jefe, alguien está robando su vehículo. Drat! I only had two payments left. Tienes seguranza? Of course not! Por qué? It's just a scam. Vivemos en un barrio muy mal. <laughs> of course we live in a bad neighborhood. We're evil doers! We're what makes the neighborhood bad. Whoa, Chucker, are you okay? Uh, mm. oh, damn. Okay, new rule. We start rotating knockouts. Next time, it's your turn. <laughs> hey, good idea. And next time Caboose decides he wants to go around team killing, you can take that one. Maybe we should all stick to what we know best. Hey. Where's your weapon? You think she knocked me out for fun? This isn't Tuesday, dude. She took it. Man, this is not gonna be good. Attack. Una <laughs> A spider. Uh-oh. The Great Destroyer has arrived. The end is near. The Great Destroyer has arrived. The end is near. No, Do you see anything? No más robos de las muertas. Mi ejército hermosa destruido. I'm going to sneak around the side. Let me know if you see anything. Lopez. Lopez! Lopez! Oh no! No! Just a little further, guys. You stole that thing all by yourself? Yep. And then I ran over the guy that was chasing us. And a few other innocent pedestrians. I'm 
so proud of you. Yeah, stealing and killing are a huge rush. I wish I'd started at a much younger age. I caught the fever. Okay, the source of the distress signal is right outside this crap. No! I think it's cool that I'm going through the series again and seeing a lot of things and picking up on a lot of things that I didn't pick up on before. So like a lot of the more adult jokes I didn't pick up on before because obviously I was a bit younger when I started to watch the show. Also things in the actual scenes themselves, like the shadow that was on the ground didn't look like a human, it looked like an elite. So I was like, ah yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the that's the thing that that was a hint right there but obviously i didn't notice that the first time i watched it so yeah i love how they've picked up that signal all the way back to halo 2's blood gulch but technically i think it's called coagulation i think that was the halo 2 map for that one that looks like blood gulch from halo 1 but i i think yeah it's called coagulation which i had a lot of fun playing on when i used to play halo 2 with my brother and my dad and and some friends and stuff. It was always a it was always a great time playing on those maps. I really miss it so much. Halo 2 was great. All the Halos were great. Well, I mean, I only played the campaign of Halo 4 and I haven't touched Guardians or uh, Reach. I've never played Reach. Not the campaign, at least. I have played some of the multiplayer now, now that the Master Chief Collection is out on PC, which I've been playing a lot, and I do love it so much. It brings back memories playing Halo multiplayer. God, I love it so much. And this show is like a massive reminder and nostalgia trip of all the fun memories I had playing Halo, because it's going through all the Halo games. I'm seeing all the Halo maps again, and I just love it. I love it so much. It's so great. It's so good. But yeah, that is the end of season three. So on to the next one, season four. I wonder where it's going to go next because honestly I've completely forgotten again. But I've said it before, that season eight, I think, around season eight is where I watched the show up until, but the rest is just, it's like a blur, or there are a lot of things in between season one to season eight that I still have forgotten. So yeah, it's just, it's just nice to go through all of it again and watch it with you guys instead, or you guys watch it with me, basically, and and have some new people watching the show who haven't seen or heard of the show before, so I'm glad that, I'm glad that you guys are watching and enjoying the, the episodes. <laughs> and I'm really glad that, that it is doing well and that you guys are enjoying watching something with me, because this is the first React series that I've ever done on the channel, and it really surprises me that it's really popular thing that you guys seem to really enjoy. I, I had no idea. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying and watching with me because it, it's nice. It's like, you know, watching something with a, a bunch of friends that you can't see. Obviously I, I can't see you guys, but I know that you guys are there and you're watching and you're munching your popcorn while you're doing it. <laughs> I just quickly wanted to say to you guys that um, these uh, reaction episodes are copyrighted of course, because, you know, it's this is Rooster Teeth's content, it's not mine, um, so it's expected that they're copyrighted, but I'm that's not going to stop me from reacting to the show and potentially reacting to the, uh, I think I think it's called Ruby, I think that's how they pronounce it, the RWBY, the, that show that Rooster Teeth has also done that I think you guys would like to watch me 
react to. I am trying to make YouTube a full-time thing for me and that's a little difficult when copyright gets in the way and if you guys would like to help contribute a little bit to the channel it's by no means necessary but I do have a patron account for you guys to support me for as little as a dollar a month literally just a dollar a month is more than enough to help me but it's not like I'm making a huge amount of money from YouTube currently because I'm, I'm just not there yet but you know it doesn't help that these videos are copyrighted but that's my choice to react to the series uh, I, I, I expect it to be copyrighted for these videos so you know that's that's on me I guess but because you guys are enjoying it so much then then it'd be nice if any of you who can spare like a dollar a month would be willing to help me out that would mean so much to me it really would so yeah the the, the link is there it's in the description go and check it out if you want I do offer like some rewards they're not huge or anything but I do offer some rewards for people who pay a dollar a month or more anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed season three and are really looking forward to season four I know I am because the show is amazing it's genius it's just it's epic it's so good <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode nuke that like button and if you haven't already then make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay rad, my friends. Bye!